Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be building a Bama Snow. The fun Pokemon, it looks pretty strong as far as I can see. So we're going to test it out. So we have the Ice Time Terra and the Held Item Shell Bell to restore health for more damage we deal. You can get that from the Lavincia Daily Bro Shop. EVs in HP and attack. The Adamant Nature to boost our attack even more. And then we have Max IVs and everything except Special Attack with the ability Snow Warning. Now as soon as we enter the battle, it pulls snow for 5 turns, and that fits in with our actual build. So we have Ice Punch, it's a strong physical move, 75 power, 100 accuracy, and freeze the target. Sword Stance to boost that attack. This move goes with our ability, as long as the actual snow is up for 5 turns, Aurora Veil will boost our defense and special defense, so that's nice. And if we are faster than our opponent, we will use Ice Punch. If we are slower than our opponent, and our opponent will hit us before we hit our opponent, then Avalanche is a very strong move. Its power is actually doubled, so it will be 120 power, 100 accuracy, without any drawbacks, if that is the case. That's why we have that as well. So, we have a raid here. Who do we have? We have a 6-star ground-type Alolan Ninetales. Now, if this was normal Ninetales, I'd be scared. But this might actually be a really good raid for us, we'll have to see. Let's begin, see how it goes. So, because of the Ninetales, he brings uh, the actual, or she brings the actual snow with her. But what we're going to do is we're going to use Aurora Veil. Well, the first Blizzard is going to do a lot of damage, and then the Aurora Veil after it. Not going to do that much damage, so we can just kind of set up. We're going to use Sounds Damage to increase our attack. Unfortunately, we don't have a Belly Bolt. We could have got a Light Screen up as well, that would have been fun. So our blood is doing about 40 damage right now. Ooh, the Ninetales is burn. I, I guess that doesn't really matter. It's a special attack. We have our second Sun Stance, but it's on plus 4. Blizzard can't miss in the snow. That's the only annoying thing here. But our defense is pretty weak right now. There's our third one. So now we are on max attack. And as far as I'm aware, there's one more turn of snow. Or two more turns of snow. Are we on max attack? We are on max attack. Okay, I thought there'd be one more. So we're going to use Avalanche here. We get hit with the Blizzard, of course. Avalanche should do a lot of damage, even with a Rally Veil. Yep, yeah, does tons of damage. And we go back to 290 health, pretty much. Man tells removes negative effects from itself, that's fine. We're going to use Avalanche again. I would imagine this puts the Man Tails below half health and gets us back up to full health. Uh, about half health, we're pretty much on the dot. Does it get us back up to full? It does. I feel like it's worst enemy. Okay, so the snow is gone. Blizzard hits us. We hit it with an avalanche. Avalanche does a lot of damage, even though the shield was up and we're not dressed to lose. That was crazy. Now it tells you it's Carmine. It's going to be doing more damage now. Hopefully it misses with one of its blizzards though. We're going to terrestrialize here and use Avalanche. This will either break the shield or almost break the shield. But 120 power move like, is ridiculous considering we're on max attack. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I didn't know how strong it was until I uh, was going through some Pokemon and testing it out. I was like, I need a couple of ice types really. Uh, physical ones, so there we are with a bonus now. So let's see how much damage we do with Avalanche. Yep, we break the shield easily. Snowscape will go up now, I would imagine. But most importantly, the shield breaks. Yep, there's the Snowscape. Doesn't have its Aurora Veil this time, but I guess it doesn't need it. 50% increased defense. I would imagine an Avalanche still finishes it off. Oh, we don't attack second. Oh yeah, the shield just broke, so we don't attack second. Still finish it off though. I forgot that we kind of got a free attack after the shield breaks. And the majestic Alolan Ninetales meets its end. I don't know how much time we had there, but I would imagine it was well over half. And that's going to be a bomber snow spread the word, guys. A bomber snow superiori. I'm actually surprised at how strong that Pokemon is. If you want to check out the last build we did, it was an Alolan Raichu. I'll put it on screen right now. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed this video. It does go a long way. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more builds. And I'll catch you on the next one.